Hey, Homestead Prepper. Today I've got a blower fan housing I pulled out of an old air handler. Uh, the motor is bad and I'm going to show you guys how to replace it. Uh, I think I did a video on how to remove this from an air handler and I guess this will be how to replace the motor right here. I'll leave a link to the other video. But the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to look at this uh, this information right here and I don't know if you can read that or not but it says it's a half horsepower 208 230 volt and if you put like a three-quarter horsepower in here it's going to shake and rattle and or if you under uh, if you put like a one-sixth horsepower or quarter horsepower in here it's not going to work as efficiently so you're going to need to get that and you're going to need one that has these uh, same little brackets on here because a lot of times the motors come just like this now this is one that's convertible and it's either Three quarter, half, or a third. It depends on um, you know what speed you use on it. But um, a lot of times you'll get a motor and it won't have that little bracketry on there. Um, I just happen to have this one. I could have bought that. Now, if you want to use this and plug this into an outlet, guys, uh, this one is rated for two two oh eight. 240. So this is not going to work. Now if you want one that works off of just a regular plug-in outlet like that, you're going to have to get one that's 120 volt. It either runs at 120 volts or it's 120, 208, 240 convertible. But uh, if you don't have that bracket here guys, they make this little thing right here. And this is a, a blower housing universal mounting kit and this just slips on there and then when you remove this out of here, this is going to go on there just like that and hold that motor but you see these are not removable I think sometimes they are but this this one is not that's uh, riveted or welded on there so let's uh, let's get this thing out of here let's turn it over and what I've done is uh, I always like to use this right here now I know some people don't like it but this stuff works pretty good for me and you've got you soak that down and then I've already loosened this but this turns that way and what you can do is just go ahead and just take that out of there so you don't lose it and we'll just set that right right there and that's soaking now if you take a hammer and you beat that out you're gonna mushroom that head and this little blower wheel is never ever gonna come off unless you get a hacksaw or a sawzall in there and cut that hammered part out and you can beat it off. So let me uh, let me get set up here and just show you how you take that out of there. Of course we need to take these off. Let's go ahead and do that. It. These are just three eighths. Let's see if this will come out. No, it doesn't want to come out, and that's because it's hitting that rust. All right, I've actually got this where this is uh, suspended off the edge of the table. I'm going to let gravity work on this thing right here. And you need to watch your feet if you're going to do it this way. Get past that rust. And there we go. Right out of there. Pretty darn easy. So that is going in the scrap pile. All right, well, let's put the new motor in. All right, I think getting that thing out of there is probably the worst part of the battle. All right, um, we've got our new motor here. And we've got our little bracket, and it you can see how it is. It's going to go that way on top right here. And we can take this. And yes, this, this is an old motor right here I had laying around. It's still it's never been used. Got a little corrosion. It's already been tested. Let's work. And 
we can put this on here loosely. Now you're going to have to adjust this in and out to get the right length and all that. Let's put this on. So you see the, the bore hole in the bore wheel and what we're going to do is take this we're going to put it in that little hole right there I'm just going to let that flop down like that and then this needs to be clocked well nothing goes perfectly um, these little grommet things right here are in this position they need to be moved to the outside hole so these they just pop right out and you just push them in there like that you can use a screwdriver of course they do not want to cooperate on camera there we go alright so we just pop that in like I said we moved them from the inside to the outside thing right here so it would fit better Uh, you need to pay attention to of where these were, where these came out of the old motor. I don't know if they came out. Does it really matter because this is not going back in an air handler? I'm going to use this for a fan out here. But um, this is just something to be aware of. So I'm going to put them near the capacitor. We'll get these bolts started here. Start them with your fingers, and you're fine. Alright, you got them all started. Just go ahead and tighten them up. Oh. It helps if your drill bit doesn't fall out. there guys all we got to do is make sure that the blower wheel is centered because if it's not centered you're going to hear a grinding noise like you can look in there and see that that is not centered see that's not going to work so just want to move that over you need to move the motor out a little bit because it's it'll bottom out against that right there and you will only be able to move it over so far so you get this nice and centered and then you take your hand of course <laughs> make sure there's no power hooked up I worked with a guy who was missing parts of these uh, these fingers right here from actually spinning a outdoor fan motor and it came on so definitely do not have this hooked up you see how smooth that works right there that's where we want to tighten it up at so let me get a wrench and tighten that up all right let's uh let's try it with the right tools now this is uh three eighths on this side and this is seven sixteenths on this side Alright, you don't want to make it so tight that it deforms the metal right there. You want it nice and snug. Alright, well, almost there. Make sure our flywheel is still, still centered. And then what we want to do now if I if I roll this on its back guys that blower wheel is gonna it's gonna move so you see right there is where this little guy goes but you see we want it on the flat spot if you tighten it up right there it's probably gonna spin so let's uh, 
Let's hold this. Make sure we're still centered. So we want that flat spot is where this little bolt rides. Just don't put it in there randomly. this and tighten this up. Now your wheel may, your, your shaft may have two flat spots on it. It doesn't matter which one it goes on. Alright, you get that on there nice and tight, and then what you do to set it, guys, because if you don't do this, this will come loose, and that motor will spin, and this will just kind of just go real slow. What you do is you loosen it a little bit, and then you tighten it up again, and that really sets it in there. Alright. Alright, we got that in there and everything spins free. The uh, easy part is hooking up the wires. I know it looks confusing guys, it's not really that confusing. Now these right here reverse the rotation of the motor, okay? Uh, a a three-phase motor is real easy to, uh, to reverse the rotation. I don't have one or I'd show you that, but um, these right here you just take this off of here and put that on there so you'd have a yellow to a purple and over here a purple to a yellow and that would I don't know which way it's going to rotate because like I said I didn't look at the thing it'll usually have an arrow how it's going but uh, we want it to spin this way if you turn it on and you don't get the air out of it then you need to reverse the rotation so and guys this thing is not going to work unless you hook this up to a capacitor and I just happen to have a capacitor right here now that's an old one it may work it may not I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and see if it does. And on some of the older motors, you put this on here, and some motors won't have this right here. Some of the older ones, they won't have this, and they reverse through the capacitor. You just put this one, this one here, and reverse them, and it'll spin the other way. On the older motors, okay, the newer ones don't work like that. Let me just throw this out here at you. Let's just say you buy a new uh, blower fan motor for your house and it'll say what size capacitor, you know, it'll say on there. Let's just say, I, like I said, I forgot to look at this one, but um, let's just say it says 10 microfarads, okay? And the original one you had only says it's five. Well, if you, uh, if you hook this up with too small of a capacitor, it's, it's not gonna come on. So when you buy a new blower motor I recommend you get the matching capacitor with it too okay that's just you know my recommendation okay guys we get to the disclaimer part of the video right here uh, and this rest of it is for educational and information purposes only do not attempt this at home or you could electrocute yourself or cause severe injury or even death but um, when I've got that is hooked up to my um, where I plug my welder or plasma cutter into and I just got it wired over here and just temporary. You should have some, at least have some wire nuts on there, but uh, that goes back to the disclaimer. So I got 120 here, 120 here, 240 across if I were to put my meter on it. Um, the black is typically the high speed and uh, the uh, blue, like I said, is usually the medium or orange is medium. And then the red is the low speed. Now in this application, this motor happens to be convertible. So it's three quarter horsepower, half, or one-third and it makes it really convenient when you run a service truck not to have to carry all kinds of motors around it's better when it's convertible like that so I've got it hooked up at three-quarter horsepower right now if I were to hook this up this would be half and this is what uh, what was in there now if you over horsepower the blower wheel it can cause problems and it um, it, it can start shaking and vibrating so I recommend you do the, the right horsepower I'm just doing this just like I said for information purposes only make sure the rotation is right and guys you want to make sure you don't have the wires 
you know, down in this thing when it comes on, okay? So you want to have these zip tied away or something. You got the capacitor hooked up. And if I mess this up, guys, uh, I've always got another one over there. So we can work on that one too. So, but anyway, let's, uh, let's turn it on. Let's put the uh, amp probe on here and just see what it says. We'll see what it goes up to. All right, there's my breaker. Go ahead and turn that on. Wow, this thing throws out some air. I just want to show that to you. This thing, man, throws out a heap of air. All right, let's cut power. All right, well, this thing throws a lot more air than that fan right there does. So, uh, guys, uh, part two is I'm going to put um, a plug on this where I can plug that in there. And I'm going to put some screen on here because you don't want anybody, any children, putting their fingers in that it would be a really bad day I'm gonna put some screen on it right here and I'm gonna put a uh, some uh, chicken wire or something on the front of this so there again nobody can stick their hands in or nothing can fall in there and come rock like a rocket back out at me and hurt me so all right well guys uh, we're gonna call this a success and like I said part two is coming homestead prepper out I uh, noticed that I didn't put this thing back on here for the capacitor. You don't want to leave that open like that. You touch it, it would be really unpleasant. So let's put the cap back on here. on push that one back on and then we'll just slide this little cover back on here don't forget to do that guys all right there we go that's better